Yesterday, I did a video about DV's dynamic content. And in that video, I also mentioned that this is very exciting for us web designers because these are those features that were used by design agencies and experienced web developers. But now it is on our, it is on our fingertips and we can actually now design websites that are a bit more complicated and a bit more custom. So if you haven't watched that video, I'll also link that video in the uh, description below. So yesterday, it was pretty much a video where we're just talking about how to access the dynamic uh, content feature and how basically it is applied. But really, the power is using external plugins like advanced custom fields, and this is what I'll be doing today. So again, depending on how long this video is, I may just uh, do the part where uh, we create all the fields that we need to make our custom websites and then uh, apply this on a page in Divi. But uh, when it comes to the styling, depending on the time, I may even divide this video into two, then do the styling in another video. But we're going to cover quite a lot today. I'll also install this plugin how to set it all up, how to create all your custom fields, because as I mentioned yesterday, uh, these custom fields are limited in WordPress. So we do need to add our own to make the website really custom to what we need. This episode is made possible by divicake.com. Check out the huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link to that is in the description below. And also, if you want to learn how to design professional looking websites using Divi, I also have a link below which you can uh, click and there's a 50% discount at the moment with that and this gives you access to my course which is called Divi Blueprint 3. Pretty much this is a course which covers everything that you need in Divi and this will allow you to design awesome looking websites. And also this course is going to be updated very very soon and uh, if you buy this course right now you won't be affected by the price when I release the new uh, update because the price is going to go up when I release the new update because I'm going to be adding in even more things to that course. Okay, so um, let's go ahead, let's get started and let's build our custom websites which has dynamic content using advanced custom fields. Okay, so the website that we're going to be working on is a website that sells cars. So we're going to be highlighting specific custom fields, which are the, maybe the car description, the manufacturer, the car model, the engine size, and the price. So this is a website where the website owners will be able to add this information and automatically this will be updated on the actual website. I know it sounds complicated as I'm saying it right now, so I'm, let's go ahead and let's build this. So what we're going to do here is to first, first off start by adding a new plugin and this is going to be the advanced custom fields plugin. So I'm going to come over here, click on add new. I'm just going to search for it over here and here it is. I'm going to click on install now and then I'm going to go ahead and activate it. Okay, so now we have an entry here for custom fields, which is great. So what we're going to do now is to add the field groups. So I'm going to come over here, click on field groups. So we're going to add our field groups. So I'm going to come over here, click on add new. So this is going to be called just cars. Right, so now that I've added my field group, the next thing we want to do here is to uh, make sure that this post type is equal to page, okay? So because we are going to be adding this information to pages. Great, so now that we have this, I'm going to publish it first, and then I'm going to start adding all my fields. So I'm going to come over here, click on my on add field. So this is where we get to give this field a name. So this one here is going to be called card description. And then I'll just hit the tab key. And then this also is uh, filled in by... Uh, by default and then over here this is very important this is where we get to choose the field type so there's quite a lot here to choose from so as you can see we have for text area number range email url and so on so for this here for the for the card description uh, part of the site this is going to be a text area so i'm just going to add here text area uh, i don't need to add any instructions here and uh, required i don't need to worry about that i'll just leave it as it is and for the placeholder text this is where you can add, you can also add information like um, add description here. So this is ideal for, let's say you're building this for a client and um, you want them to know where to add what information. Okay, so I'll just add this here. And then color to limit, we can also limit that if you want. And then over here, I think I'll leave everything as it is. 
we can go ahead and add more fields. So this one here is the card description. The next one here is going to be the manufacturer. Okay, so for the field name here, I'll just hit my tab key. And then for the field type, this is just going to be like text area, a normal text area. So I'm just going to select that. I won't bother with the instructions now. Click on add new field. Uh, this one here is going to be the car model. Okay, so again, this is just going to be a basic uh, text area. Okay, so moving on, I'll add another field. This time, this is going to be the engine size. Okay, again, this is going to be text. In fact, this can be a number. Okay, so let's let's change it up a bit here and add a number. And then finally, uh, for our last field, this is going to be the price. Okay, I'm going to hit my tab key again. And then here is going to be a number. Now, there's something quickly I just want to show you here on the field types. Notice that we have quite a lot of field types here. We can have message, accordion, tab, group, uh, color picker. So this is very, very powerful. And this is where you get to get ideas of what you can add on your website to make it uh, even more dynamic and more professional. Okay, so now that I have all my fields, I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to come over here to the top and just click on update. So these are all my custom fields. So at any point, you can always go back in here and uh, make some adjustment to them if you need to. Okay, so now that we have all this set, I know uh, you're probably asking, so where is this information now? So let me show you where that is. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure this is updated. I'm going to come over here now to the pages and click on add new. So this is my uh, car page template. So I'm going to build this as a template and then save it so that next time that we start adding all our content, all our information will be here. Okay, so now that I've created my uh, car page, in fact, let me just call this template as well, right? So over here, we notice that we have some extra fields. So this, these are the uh, fields that I created. Remember, I had uh, my um, default text, add car description here, okay? So this is the car description. The manufacturer information goes here, the car model, car engine, and price. So this is something that we didn't have before. Now, by, with WordPress, by default, our entry is here, is only the accept. And if you watched yesterday, yesterday's uh, video, we only had the accept to add onto uh, our page. Okay, so now that we have all this information, I'm just going to add uh, this uh, information fast. Uh, so let's start with the card description. So here, you know, uh, if you've watched my videos for a while now, you know I'm lazy and uh, I don't like typing. So I'm just going to copy my description here from Lorem 2. And then I'm going to paste it here like that. Next, the manufacturer. Let's say this is the BMW. The car model, say this is M3. Okay, next, we're going to come over here to the engine size. So uh, I'm just going to make something up here. Let's call this a V12. Oh, let's say V6 price. Um, let's set this at 80,000. And for the except, I'm going to leave that as it is. Now over here for the featured image, I'm going to come over here and set my featured image. And I'm just going to go for this BMW, this car here, set featured image. Great. Okay. So now I have my featured image and I also have my basic information here for my site. So what I'm going to do next here is I'm going to publish this and then I'm going to go into the visual builder. Okay. Publish. And then I'm going to go down to the visual builder, click on use visual builder, right? So we're going to build this from scratch. So I'm going to click on build from scratch, right? So this is where we get to put our content together. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I am going to add a title to this. Okay. So I'm going to add a single column and in there, I'm going to add my text module. Okay, so I'm going to come over here to my dynamic content and then I'm going to choose page title. Okay, so automatically this is going to bring our page title. So when we start creating our, the actual cars to add onto our, to our website, this will have the car name, which is great. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm going to go ahead now and save. And then over here, I'm going to go in and add a background. But this time we're going to add this as a background image. Okay, so I'm going to come over here, click this dynamic link and then... I'm going to select my featured image. So this is going to pull my BMW, as you can see here. Okay, so that's great. I'm going to go ahead now and save. So moving on, I'm going to click uh, my plus button here to add my section. And this again is going to be a regular section. So what I'm going to do here is 
I'm gonna give this uh, description on the left, or in fact, uh, the image on the right, on the left, and then the description on the right. So let's go ahead and choose this layout right here. Okay, I'm gonna go with this. So over here, we're gonna have our image selected. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my my image right here. So again, this is gonna be a featured image. Great. So now this is where we get to see the full image of the car. I'm gonna save that, and then over here, I'm gonna add the car description. So I'm going to select my text module here, and then I'm going to pull this data from my custom fields here, as you can see here on the bottom. So I'm going to choose car description. Okay, so now that has brought all my content for my car description, which is brilliant. Now I can save this. Next, we want to add more information about this car. So now we are left with the car model, the engine size and the price. So let's add a new row. So I'm going to add a single column here. And again, this is going to be text. And then over here for my dynamic content, I'm going to make this the car model. Okay, so now we can see that has pulled the data. And now it's here as BMW M3. So I'm going to save that. And then I'm just going to drag this to the top. All right, so now that we have all that information, I'm going to add more, more things here. So here I'm going to add the price. So again, this is going to be a text module. Then here, I'm going to pull the price. We can see here that the way it's uh, it's done, there is no uh, there isn't the currency on there. So on the before section here is where I'm going to add my dollar sign or my pound sign. Okay, so that's going to be eighty thousand uh, pounds. Then I'm going to save that. So my next field here is going to be. In fact, let's save this. Then let me add my next field. In fact, I'm going to do. Just duplicate this to make things easier for me. Okay, so the engine size. So I'm going to go in here and add my engine size. So I'm going to delete that. And then over here, I'm going to choose engine size. Okay, so I'm just going to add a V over here. Save that. So now we have the engine size, uh, the V6, the price. We have the car description. And we also have the type of the car. Great. So now that we have all this information, we can actually now go in and start styling this. Okay. So let's start off uh, with uh, this top part here. So I'm going to go into my row settings, design. So I'm going to click here on spacing. In fact, I want to give this margins. So let's say, let's start with 3% and see how that looks. Okay. So that's showing more of the car, which is great. So let's try 4%. That's not too bad, actually. So what we want to do as well here is to make sure that this page looks great on all devices. So I'm just going to click this little icon here and just make sure that on my um, other devices, this looks really nice. Okay, so that looks really cool. Okay, I'm going to save that. Right, so over here now, uh, this is where we get to adjust the, um, the title. So I'm going to go in and click on design. So notice that this is a custom post type. So when I come over here to design, I can still go in and customize this the way I want. So I'm gonna go into text and I'm gonna make this all caps. We're gonna change the color white. Okay, so the reason why we're making this text uh, white is because we want to make this area here dark. Okay, so I'm gonna increase the size a little bit here and then I'm also gonna make it bold. Okay, so the next stage now is to go in and make some adjustments to this image right here. So I'm going to click here on section settings, background, and I'm going to add a gradient. So I'm going to click here on the second tab. And in fact, what we could also do here is we could also uh, come in and add a solid color here, but I'm just going to add a gradient. So I'm going to click here and uh, my first color is going to be black. And then my second color here again is going to be black, but with transparency. So right now, I know we can't see any any difference uh, to this. So what I'm going to do is I am going to place the gradient above the image like that. So now we can see uh, that that gradient has taken effect. So what we can also do here is to uh, play around with this. You may want to maybe just bring this down a little bit. Okay, just to show a bit of the car. Right, so that looks good. So I can go ahead now and save. Right, so as you can see, I've pulled all this data from our custom fields. I haven't actually gone in manually and done this in the actual builder. So the advantage of this is when I now go in and start styling this and save this as a template, every time I need to go in and add a new car, I can just create a new page and add uh, information on those fields and 
all the pages will be updated automatically. So what I'm going to do in the next video is I'm going to go in and then I'm also uh, I'm going to come in here and style this, okay, and make it look much nicer and then create a page template. And then after creating the template, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another post. Of course, it's going to be another car. And then I'm going to show you how that automatically updates every time I add a new car to the website. And this is how dynamic websites are built. Today's episode is made possible by DiviCake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link to that is in the description below. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to hit the bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.